Hello, welcome to another episode on the biggest YouTube channel in the world. Today, I'm going to be talking about how to sense when a button is pressed down and held for a specific amount of time in Godot. So basically, you say you have a uh, player that you want to release a super attack if somebody presses down the space bar for five seconds. Now, I'm going to show you how to do that. So this is a pretty simple scene I have here. I have a Node 2D with a script that's empty attached, and I have a color rect, which I'm just going to be using to um, prove that it's working by toggling its visibility. Also, in the input of my uh, project settings, I have this uh, input called spacebar map to space. So, all the magic is going to happen in the script. Let's go in there. Oh, who put that there? No. Well, this is going to happen. You need two functions. You want the process function. And then I'm just going to stick a pass in there so it doesn't get confused. And then you want a function that you're going to make, which you can call whatever you want. I'm going to call it space bar hold. Okay, and I'm going to check a pass in there too so it doesn't get confused when I'm writing this. Now I'm going to do if input dot is action just pressed it's important that you do just pressed space bar and then i'm going to have it call the space bar hold function so basically on the frame that we press a button down it's going to call this function now we want to do if false input dot is action pressed not just pressed pressed um, space bar, then we want to return. And then we're going to uh, make a timer, yield, uh, get tree dot create timer for however long we want them to hold it down. So I'm going to choose five seconds, though this is entirely up to you. You can choose 10 if you want them to hold it down for 10 for this to happen, whatever. Then time up. And then I'm going to do same as last time if input dot is action pressed space bar if that's false then it's going to return and then I'm just going to take the um, color rect dot visible equals Um, color rect dot visible. So let me go and explain this a little bit more. Basically, in the process, so this is sensing for every frame. If we press spacebar on the first frame we press it, it's going to call this. And then right off the bat when this is called, it's saying, are you pressing the spacebar? And this is true whenever you're pressing the spacebar, not only when you just press it. So if you're pressing the spacebar, it's going to move right on. But if you're not, then it's going to return and end the function. And it's going to wait five seconds. And then five seconds later, it's going to say, hey, are you still pressing it? And if you're not, it's going to end the function. But then if you are, it's going to move on to this. And in this area right here, right after this, where you can you can put any code you want. Um, and then say you wanted a prompt to let the player know they're holding it down for some reason, you would put that right there. So... Let's see this in action. And you go. And I'm going to hold down this for five seconds. Holding down the space bar, that is. And after five seconds, you see it shows up. And if I hold it down for another five seconds, one, two, three, four, five, it goes away. So that is how you're going to do it. Thank you for watching. Um, I really appreciate uh more than two subscribers so if somebody could su subscribe that would be pretty cool uh catch you next time